five shots, half an inch, it's 100 yards. How could you ask for much more than that? Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the Lithgow LA102 243 rifle. So it comes with the user manual here and it also comes in a standard cardboard box. As you can see here, <laughs> the addiction is starting to get out of control for the Lithgow rifles. But I do love them for one reason, um, they simply work and they're Australian made so what more can I say. So let me just go ahead and clear it. Now the LA102 is available in three different calibers. 223, 243 and 308. There's also three stock options, synthetic stock, laminate stock or what I've got here which is the walnut stock. So let me just give you a quick run by of it. Honestly this rifle is finished like a high-end European grade rifle. Nice rubber kick pad at the back, sling attachment at the rear, really nice grip and just the finish on that walnut stock is very very impressive. The front there we've got two sling attachments so you can attach a uh, bipod and a sling both and just overall looks really really nice. Now the weight of it is 3.7 kilos or just over 8 pounds so look it's fairly um, I guess right in the middle isn't it of sporting use to target use so really it's a dual purpose rifle you can use it for any. Overall length is 107 centimeters or 42 inches now the barrel is cold hammer forged military grade steel, 22 inches in length or 56 centimetres, six grooves at one in 10 inch twist for 243, and the thread at the end here is an M14 by one right hand muzzle thread. Now that is optional guys. As you can see the barrel is uh, completely free floating and you can see the quality in the finish because both sides of the barrel there to the stock is nice and even isn't it? So the action and the barrel is uh, finished in Cerakote Titanium H series finish. We've got a single stage adjustable trigger. So it's adjustable from about um, one and a half to four pounds I find. So let's just um, go ahead and use the trigger pull gauge and just see what it comes in at. Okay, so we've got just over three pounds, but a very nice crisp trigger. Now the three round polymer magazine is just a single stack mag. This polymer and the polymer you see around the trigger guard and if you had the synthetic stock is all the same tough polymer that Lithgow use when they manufacture their F90 assault rifles for the army. So um, you know look it's very tough. I've never had any problems with it put it that way. Now we've got a um, three position safety as well. So if we move the safety at the back here, just around to the, sorry, just have to recock it, around to the first click there, okay, you'll lock everything. You can't cycle the action, you can't fire. If you move it all the way back, you can still cycle the action, however, you can't fire. Then you push it all the way back, and then naturally you can fire. Now with the bolt, it's a 60 degree throw. So, you know, it's gonna give you ample clearance of the scope, which I really, really like. You know, it's a nice um, bolt knob, honestly. I mean, as far as bolt knobs go, I mean, as long as it, it grips nicely in the palm of your hand, I really don't have too much of a uh, problem with them. But this bolt is just built like a tank. Like, let me just take it out here. Like, look at the size of the bolt here. It's got three locking lugs at the front and it's just sturdy. Overall, it's just high quality. Now we've got a Picatinny rail on top. Now Lithgow currently have come out with uh, additional uh, Picatinny rails for the LA-102. So you can actually buy them. They're a 20 MOA rail. So if you want to get out to a little bit longer distance, then you certainly have that as an option as well. Now on top I've got uh, a Trigicon AccuPoint 3 to 9 by 40 scope. Yeah guys, I know you've been following me for a while. Um, <laughs> I do. I like these scopes. I find them uh, really clear and ideal for a lot of um, you know hunting requirements. I've got Trigicon 1 inch rings on there. 
um, just to seal it off nicely they're just medium height just to bring that scope down as much as I can now recommended retail price on this guys about $1450 I've seen um, and a little bit less I've seen down to like $1400 depending on which shop and uh, what location in Australia you go to but being Australian made like I absolutely love these rifles so I guess in one way it's going to be high expectations for this 243 so let's get down on the farm now and see if it performs just like every other Lithgo that I've owned Okay guys, so let me run you through the different ammo that we'll put through the Lithgo today. So we've got the uh, OSA 70 grain uh, Sierra Match Kings. Then we've got the OSA with the 87 grain uh, Horndy V Max. Then we've got the OSA with the 100 grain uh, Sierra Game Kings. Now these are a uh, soft point boat tail. So we've got all the OSA offerings. We've also got uh, 90 grain Speedhead Match Ammo from Seiko, so very expensive uh, high grade ammunition that one and we've also got the uh, bulk pack of 90 grain soft points from uh, Ticker so we've got a nice wide variety of different ammunition and uh, you know projectile types for different uh, purposes so we've only got a three round magazine here in the Lithgo so we'll fire three shots there at 100 and we'll just see which one the Lithgo likes So we started off with the 70 grain OSA ammunition, so we'll be under an inch there, at just on 0.7 of an inch. Then we come down to the 87 grain VMAX from OSA, got a little bit more spread there. We've got probably still a fraction under an inch, yep, 0.9 of an inch. Then we come up to the 100 grain uh, Sierra Game Kings from OSA. That's coming a little bit better. We've got about yep 0.7 of an inch there as well for three shots. Uh, up to the Seiko ammunition, a little bit of spread there. I was hoping that'd do a little bit better to be quite honest. We've got about an inch. Then we come down to the ticker ammunition. It's the clear winner. We should have under half for sure. Down here a little bit more. No, we'd say an honest 0.6 of an inch group.
All right, guys, let's have a look now. It's a little bit more consistent there with the five round groups. Okay, what a great little cluster there with the OSA ammunition. We've got to be at half inch for sure. Yep, there we go. Five shots, half an inch at 100 yards. How could you ask for much more than that? Then over with the uh, ticker ammunition, I'm real dirty with myself, guys, because I pulled that shot there. So otherwise, we would have been, honestly, we'd have to be about the same. Oh, just a fraction more, 0.6 of an inch. However, if we measure the uh, one I pulled there, we'd probably come out to about an inch or so. Yep, 1.2 inches. So look, I'm really stoked with that. I mean, what more can you want? If I can shoot half an inch or under with five rounds at 100 out of just a, <laughs> any rifle for that matter, I'm pretty happy with that. So can't ask for much more than that. I'm just going to bring it over two clicks to the left there so we're dead on. So the loading of the magazine is just uh, very straightforward and I've had absolutely no feeding problems or any issues with it. The only complaint I have is I just wish they made a higher uh, capacity magazine than just three rounds. Okay guys, so we've got a target out there at 300 yards. So I've just thrown my Harris bipod on the front here. It's nothing fancy, that's for sure. We've got no rear rest. So all I'm gonna do is just get it into the shoulder as best as I can. So there's still gonna be a little bit of movement. But I just wanna put this rifle to the test. See how we go using the 100 grain uh, Sierra Game Kings from OSA. We'll see how we go with a five shot group on target. And then we've got the gong underneath, which is only 20 centimetres. So let's just see the accuracy out of this rifle. Okay guys, so this is just for a bit of fun here. So we've got a bit of spread naturally. Now we've come out to about 
3.4 inches there at 300. As you can see down here with the gong, I mean, it was pretty easy to hit that, guys. Um, you know, I'd be interested to see how it goes off a bench rest, but uh, I just want it in sort of real conditions, you know what I mean? Like if you were overlooking a, a dam or something like that, waiting for pigs to come in, you know, you're not exactly going to have a bench rest. So that's why I just wanted to run this uh, test on it and just see how it went. Anyhow, look, I'm pretty uh, happy with that. There's not much more I can test with the rifle. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap up my final thoughts on the Lithgow LA-102 and 243. Like, honestly, you saw the uh, impact that that 308 review of the Lithgow had, you know. Um, a lot of people were just wow, you know, with the accuracy of that rifle. Honestly, the 243 is no different. It just honestly depends on what caliber you want, guys. You go get one, it just shoots. I am, like, 100% convinced of that. And I say that only because I've shot several of the 22s, the 22 Magnum, the 243, I've shot a couple of the 308s now, and they all shoot sub MOA, like no problem at all with factory ammo. So I don't know what more I can say about them, guys. Um, you know, I love the finish on them. I love the fact that they're Australian made. That is just a massive bonus in my uh, view. The only thing that I'd love to see is a bigger uh, capacity magazine, and I would love it if they did one of these as an option in a long range tactical type uh, chassis setup. I mean, it'd just be awesome. But anyhow, guys, look, you know, um, you hear me rave on about them. If you follow me on Facebook, you would see numerous posts of different uh, followers of the channel that have sent in their results with their Lithgows, and they absolutely love them as well. Just go in, have a look at one at your local gun shop, and you will see exactly what I mean with just the fit and the finish and just overall quality of these uh, great Australian-made firearms. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.